from England in a record flight, a giant Lancaster night bomber arrives in Australia. Mr. Churchill wanted us to see it, and here it is. Flight Lieutenant Peter Isaacson, DFC and DFM, the captain, introduces his all-Australian crew. I can't say how very ple pleased we are that we're back in Australia without thanking the Australian government for choosing us to fly this Lancaster over. Um, I brought with me from England an all-Australian crew. You can see that by the blue of the uniform. There's Don Delaney, he tells us he's got a voice. Uncle Bill, Alan Ritchie, he's turning on the champagne for us in a few days and Joe Gross. Uh, Doc Page from Tasmania, Claude Spencer from Melbourne, like me, and uh, Bob Nielsen. He comes from Sydney, but he'd like to be in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> We've flown this aircraft not only from England to Australia, but also in Germany and Italy. We've been in some pretty tough spots with, in it, but it's never failed yet to bring us through. Its construction is British throughout, and as usual with British things, it's absolutely tops. The Governor-General, Lord Garry, and Lady Garry are among the first to congratulate the Lancaster's captain. And here's a vice-regal welcome for all the crew. <laughs> Distinguished passengers greeted by Army Minister Ford include Group Captain Wincott of the British Air Ministry at Washington. <laughs> On the left, Lord Burley, British controller of overseas supplies. With Air Minister Drakeford, they inspect a 33-feet bomb rack, and Flight Lieutenant Isaacson meets Mr. Geoffrey Hughes, CEO of his elementary training school. Well, I do congratulate you, Isaacson, on the grand job you've done, not only in your flight out here, but overseas. Well, thanks very much, sir, but I owe it to you and address the instructors at your station, because it was there I learned to fly about two and a half years ago. Yes, in that two and a half years, there have been many other great achievements by the graduates of the Empire Air Training Scheme, Men from all the dominions to man whole squadrons of deadly Lancasters. In England, 